Hey everyone, it's Daniel and in this video I want to share with you a secret tool that I've been using for years now that completely changed and transformed everything that I knew about keyword research, about uh, uh, tag research on YouTube, uh, keyword research on eBay. Basically this tool allows you to see the most search for keywords uh, on almost every possible website that you want to rank for, okay? So it connects with Google, with YouTube, with eBay, with Amazon, with so many websites, it's just amazing. And by the way, guys, this tool is completely for free. And this is just mind blowing to me because I know tools that yeah, charge you like 40, 50, 60 dollars per month that doesn't even allow you to see half of the information inside of, okay? So this tool is completely amazing. And by the end of the video, you'll know how to use it effectively and to improve your search results on no matter what channel you're into okay this tool will also allow you to get more ideas for videos for content it will allow you to actually see what people search for okay and what what are the best phrases to include what are the best keywords to include Okay, and th this is just amazing. But before we dive deep into this keyword research tool, which again is going to change everything for you, I want to discuss uh, the idea behind it, okay? Because there are many tools across the websites, uh, different websites that allow you to get ideas for keywords. For for example, if you're into YouTube and you're searching, uh, searching for tags, so they will allow you to get uh, different tags. Usually they will require you to add some seeds into it. By seeds, I mean like um, they will need you to add like uh, three, four keywords that explain your niche or your topic. And then it will just generate a lot of different ideas uh, for that keyword, okay, from that keyword. So basically, these tools can be great, can be awesome, but in most chances, uh, most scenarios, they don't really uh, uh, estimate by data okay they don't really take what youtube has to offer and use it they just generate ideas by the keyword by what's relevant okay so what is powerful about knowing what actually being searched for on youtube is that you can really see what are the possibilities what are the chances what do people search for you can really get your vi videos viral because you know okay this for example this phrase is really being searched for on eBay so it, it, or, or on YouTube, for example. So if, for example, I'll write something like keyword research on YouTube, it auto-completes me. It tells me that after keyword research, keyword research bangala tutorial is the second most searched for phrase. Then it's for SEO for YouTube 2020 tool tutorial, bangala tutorial 2020 for Amazon, etc. If I'll write for SEO, I'll be able to see again auto complete. So other than it for SEO, the second search for is SEO 2020 or in handy or free or blogger or in English or tutorial. These are amazing ideas. Okay. They can help you with topic ideas. Okay. So if for example, you're into keyword research, but you don't know again what to do. So you can just get ideas from that. Okay. Because uh, uh, you, you could have done keyword research but you never thought about doing it for YouTube or doing it for blog posts or doing it uh, using SEMrush or AHRFs or, um, or, or, do, or searching for tools. With it. Again, it can br bring you a lot of ideas, but more than just ideas, guys, it can actually help you again with your keyword research because these are powerful phrases that people search for. And this is why this is so amazing. But the ideas are very limited and this is what we're going to fix, okay? So you write keyword research and you can actually see, let's count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 ideas. And again, if I'll uh, write A, I'll get 14 other ideas. And if I write B, 14 other ideas. And every time that I write something into it, it will autocomplete the most and the highest search for terms on YouTube, for example, now we are on YouTube, but I can do the same on Google, guys. So on Google, I can go to google.com and I can do uh, SEO training and it will autocomplete me to course, course by Moz, online, free, institute. And here I, I even have less than 14. So this is awesome, but you have to be really creative. And what we are going to fix is allowing actually people who not creative and people who are either too lazy 
or have no clue what to search for to get so many ideas. It's just amazing. Guys, this is really amazing. When I found this tool, I was shocked. I was just like, I was ready for them to increase their prices. And then I saw that, wow, I've been using this tool for years and they never increase their prices. It's actually for free. It's amazing. So again, I can get a lot of ideas and this is a powerful strategy to use to get ideas, to see what being said for. So if, for example, I'm going to do a post for my WordPress website, I might use Google Autocomplete because most of my traffic comes from Google and I want now I want to see what keywords to, to include in my article or my headline because these are, again, searched for. And this is what I want. I, I don't want just ideas about what sounds relevant. I want something that will really, you know, it has proven to work and can actually bring the traffic. So I can do it on YouTube, on Google, and Amazon. So if you're example for e-commerce, okay, you might use Amazon to autocomplete you for ideas on, for example, I can write a cat and then I can see that cat leader is very, very comes up, which actually sounds very reasonable because now in the COVID-19, a lot of people are inside a house uh, and cat litter is something that people with cats would really need and cat toys and cat treats and cat food so it can help you with e-commerce but again no matter what channel you're into this tool is going to transform everything for you okay because it supports all so basically if you're into keyword research or no matter what platform this tool is going to change everything for you because the number one issue that i saw and i still say is that their suggestions are very limited and this is what we want to fix so guys without further delay i want to keep this short I'm going to write on Google SEO stack and I'm going to leave a link down below. Again, it's free, no affiliate link. Uh, I cannot serve it to you. This is actually a free tool that you can install in your Chrome, okay? SEO stack, look at how, this is just amazing. 30,000 users, this should have at least 20 times that because this is so freaking amazing. But people don't know it. It's not that popular, okay? I found it, no, when I found it first, uh, back in like four, a, a couple years ago, it was way less than that. And I didn't see any videos about that. I actually made a video about that. Uh, back when I was doing e-commerce on eBay, you can go on my history videos and you'll see that this is, was one of my po most powerful videos yet on YouTube. I didn't have a lot of subscribers back then, but it was just like five, six thousand uh, views, I think by now. Uh, and it wasn't even about this tool. It was about keyword research on eBay. But then 10 minutes in, I also showed this tool. And this is how amazing this is. So I'll add it to my Chrome and we'll see. It's not the most visual and beautiful plugins. But again, it's so amazing. So just stay with me a couple minutes and you'll see the potential, I, I, I promise you. So I have SEO stack installed. Let's click on that. Okay, so this is interesting, guys. We have this data. What, what do we do with that? First of all, I want you to notice that select sources i can do search by google youtube binge yahoo amazon and ebay six platforms that will serve most people that are into keyword research okay and it also has modifiers regions and language this is amazing guys so first of all let's do a demonstration let's say that i pick on youtube and the country is United States, the language is English, and I do A to Z, 0 to 9, and extras. So what that means is, let's go back to YouTube so I can show you. And this is also why I started this video by that, by showing you the autocomplete. Not because I like the tension and I want to keep you interested, but because I wanted to explain the behind the scenes, the logic behind this tool, because this is powerful and you need to understand why this is so genius. So. If I write something like keyword, you know what? Let's do something else. Sales training. No, not sales training. Um, let's do, for example, video marketing. Okay. You know, digital marketing. I, I, I know this will be fascinating. So digital marketing on YouTube. I have digital marketing tutorials for beginners course, Bangalore tutorial. I don't know what bang always Bangalore comes first career agency course, Bangalore. Uh, 2020 tutorial strategy again 14 ideas 14 ideas and that's over that's it so you can use it you can get 14 ideas and it's perfect and you can tweak and change and get more ideas but what if i use seo stack the one that just daniel just recommended 
So if I press it here, leave it on YouTube, A to Z, 0 to 9, and extras, and click start. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, blah, 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 and I get to 300, 400. While it searches, I'll explain to you how it works. So first of all, you have keyword, rank, source, and seed. Seed is digital marketing until we get to here, then it becomes digital marketing A. So basically what it does beautifully is goes into YouTube, the, the platform that I chose, and it just pasted uh, the word, that the phrase that I mentioned, and it then puts an A to it because the modifiers A to Z and then zero to nine and then extras. So it puts A and gets more ideas. Run out of ideas, it goes to B, then it goes to C, and then it goes to D, and it goes through the entire ABC. And then when it's over there, it actually goes to one, to zero, to one, to two, to three, to four, to five, to six, to seven, to eight, until it runs out sort of ideas. Again, if it will go digital marketing nine and no ideas will be made, but there are digital marketing ULA 9, I, I have no idea what this is, and it might not be relevant for you. But again, it's all about the suggestions, the, about the ideas. It has generated 643 ideas, and it will go until it gets to extras as well. So digital marketing, best digital marketing. This is the extras, best. It adds the words best. It adds the words for. It, it adds the word under. It adds about, in. These are things that you didn't even search for. You didn't even think about, but let's take one idea from that. So for example, about digital marketing, did you know that about digital marketing, about digital marketing course, about digital, so understanding digital marketing can be something that I didn't think about including, but it might be very powerful. Okay. This might be very powerful because when I write uh, digital marketing under, this is the autocompletes understanding digital marketing. And when I go to uh, digital marketing A, as digital marketing analytics, or digital marketing audit, or audiobook, or ads, or animation, or agency pricing, or if I go to digital marketing I, so digital marketing internship, Instagram, income, interview, uh, ideas in 2020, see how many ideas it can generate you. This is amazing, guys. This is really amazing. And you can do more than that. You can do export, you can do plain text and then just copy everything into an Excel file and have ideas. You can do uh, get volume and CPC data and it will actually, well, this is like a broken link because it used to work, but I I've never used it. But anyway, you can just plain text, copy it to do, uh, like go keyword planner and Google and see how good these keywords are for, I don't know, Google ads maybe. Basically, again, guys, this is just amazing because it will allow you within seconds to get all the ideas and you can just scroll and look for things. So two things you can use it for. Again, one is, again, first of all, keyword research to see what is being searched for. OK, so if, if for example, there, those are obviously like the most searched for you write digital marketing. These are the ones that appear first and digital marketing is highly competitive and these are like crazy hot keywords. But people don't get and write digital marketing age. So this might be even more powerful because the competition might be way lower. So digital marketing help, history, how to earn money, Harvard Business School, how to interview questions. Look at those words, okay? So this is one. S two, it can give you a lot of ideas for topics, okay? So I, yes, I want to do something about digital marketing I don't know, agency. I want to do a video about agency, but now also see that digital marketing for beginners, a tutorial for beginners might be a good idea. And I now see that also maybe doing an audit can be a good idea. And I can see that also maybe talking about agency structure, pricing structure can be a good idea. And now I can see that maybe doing something about uh, a, a campaigns would be a good idea. And now I can see that maybe even including Dan Lock on my videos or doing something about Dan Lock would be a good idea. Now I can see that dropshipping might be an interesting topic for me to talk about. So I can get a lot of ideas for videos. I can get ideas for keywords, uh, for my research, for my uh, uh, videos topics, for my uh, for I, I mean, 
everything, okay? And I can do the same, guys, instead of on YouTube, on Google. So I can either clear or add Google now and do digital marketing again, and it will again add and go to Google, okay? So here at YouTube ads, now it goes to Google because I did not clear it. So now it will tell me about Google as well. And I can see that on Google, now rank number five is digital marketing certificate or data. I actually, I love to clear this out because it just goes from rank number one because, because of duplications, it started from rank five. But now because I cleared, it will tell me again. So digital marketing salary, jobs. You see, it's completely different results, by the way, guys. So obviously Google, people search on Google for different things than they search for on YouTube and they search for different things than on Amazon or eBay. So guys, this is the video. This is like the best tool that I've been using. This is like amazing. This will completely change it for you. So if you like the video, let me know, uh, leave a comment down below, subscribe uh, to see more awesome videos about digital marketing, about entrepreneurship. I'm, I'm trying my best to drop two videos weekly. So do that. And thank you so much guys for uh, being here and I'll see you on one of my next videos. Bye-bye.